right, summer is here, and that means long car rides and family road trips. And for a lot of families, pets are included in the adventure. In fact, tri AAA says 84% of dog owners drive with their pets in the car. You know who you are, okay? Mm. So sun shining, windows mm. down, dog catching the wind in his face, but is that a good idea? Dog trainer Robert Cabral is here with tips to keep everybody safe and happy on the road this summer. Hey, Robert. Nice Hi. to see you, Robert. Nice so a lot of us do the wrong thing, yeah. thinking we're doing the right thing, yeah. and that's what we have here, right? Well, we end up giving the dog what we think the dog wants, which is freedom in the car, and it's single, the most dangerous thing you could possibly do for the dog. Like and a child. Pass, same thing. Right. right. So we strap in our children you know, in, a, in a car safety seat, but our dogs, we let them run free. And what happens right away, mm. we get distracted, we swerve, yeah. and if we have an accident, the dog is a projectile going through your car. Right. So okay. some people do these kind of harnesses. And I've seen those, they're right. not good? Well, they're dangerous, actually. They can hurt your dog immensely if you have any kind of an impact. And furthermore, they will snap in the event of an accident. Wow. You snap off, snap free? Snap off and your dog oh, goes and right through. And then your dog yeah. really is a projectile. And then your dog is a projectile. Okay, you have so, a beautiful dog with you. Will you show us the right way to sure. do it? This is Maya, Maya, come here. Hop up. Oh, good, good girl. girl. Wow. Come here. Come here. Turn around. Okay. Good girl. So now Maya's wearing the All Safe harness, which is a harness that's designed, it's crash tested. Oh. So this actually protects her and the passengers in the so car. So what do you do with that? You strap it in with the yeah, seatbelt? All belt? we do is we strap that in. Maya, come over here. Come here. Come over here. She don't want to go. And we strap this right into, into this. It's actually better it's separate so we can yeah. see. This steps in on the back of the harness. You can have oh. one on each side, whichever side the dog likes. So they're likes. not like this, but they are not going to be but floating around it. In the, in we want to give them some travel room. Right. Okay. Right, but we don't want them sailing through the okay. car and distracting Got us. Okay, good. All right, you think about a crate, um, which this is, is usually This a good is like one. a condominium. <laughs> yeah. This is the Mercedes Benz of crates. Yeah. Right? So what you want to think about in a crate is wire crates are very, very dangerous. Because if there's any kind of impact, you have shards of metal coming in. Uh. Three things I look for in a crate. This is the crate that's in the back of my car. One, is it crash tested to government standards? Two, does it have a crumple zone? And three, does it have an escape hatch? Because sometimes in the cargo area, if there's a rear impact, which is a very common accident that happens, you can't get in the back of your car. How do you get your dog out? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? This has an emergency escape hatch. So if you watch, once the dog is conditioned and trained, Maya loves her crate. Look how Maya... She, okay. <gasps> oh, my gosh. She loves how her do crate. you get them to go in if they don't want to, if they're not Maya? Everything's <laughs> positive. We start with treats. Yeah. We throw some treats in there. We throw some toys in there. And I love feeding them in the beginning. Just put food in there and let them go in there. What about those plastic crates? Again, they're not crash tested. Yeah. Um, they're good if you have a really small dog and you put them behind your front seat. Sometimes it's all someone can afford. Though. Yeah. Is it better exactly. than nothing? Right. The harness is better. Okay. okay the harness. I'd go with the harness. I remembered that they need to be hydrated. You've got a nice, yeah. nice little water thing there for them. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's calm our dogs down. Some dogs. Yeah. Oh, my dog reaches them past it. There was a, 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 a you know electrical storm. Yeah. Go went absolutely nuts. Now the three I have now doesn't bother them at all. Do those Depends. jackets work? Some dogs they work for. Yeah. And when they work, they work great. But, you know, you have to try out to see what works with your dog. Do they come it's, in other sizes? Because that's they, just a little bit. They come okay. in various sizes. Thunder okay. Shirt's a great product. A lot of times we use it when we first put a dog in a crate as well. Just to calm them down. It's a swaddling effect, like with a uh -huh. baby. Okay. Makes them feel really comfortable. And some dogs, when it comes to swimming, they're need not. A little they, help. they need a little help. No, we always help. assume dogs know how to swim. Is that not yeah. the case? Even if they don't know, even if they do know how to swim, I like to put a life vest on a dog. This dog, dog doesn't want friend. to go swimming. This dog doesn't <laughs> want to walk. This He's dog doesn't want to. Louie. Yeah, Louie is a goldfish right now, wearing the Outward Hound uh, life vest. But he's very excited, very motivated he to be is? here, as you can tell. Yeah. And uh, so we want to have that on him because it's going to hold him. It's going to protect him okay. when all you're right. in the water. Thank right? you right. so Thanks much. Very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.